In this video, we will discuss design profiles. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file designprofiles.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the Working with this Dataset video. Civil 3D provides tools very similar to the horizontal alignment tools to create proposed profiles. Let's create a proposed vertical alignment. We'll navigate to the Create Design Panel, Profile, Profile Creation Tools. When you don't know what to do, look to the command line window. It's asking you to select a profile view to create profile. So we'll go ahead and pick our profile view that we have set up in this viewport. We'll go ahead and give this name of underscore bypass one, as this will put it at the top of the list, making it a little easier when you do your corridor modeling. We use the profile style of layout and make sure our profile label set is set to complete label set. Note that you can toggle on design criteria and you can use the minimum K table provided by Ashto standards. For now, we'll leave it toggled off. Click OK. And you'll notice the profile layout tools look very similar to the alignment layout tools. We have the PI methods on this side. We have the fixed, floating, and free tangent tools here, and the fixed, floating, and free curves from here. Let's go ahead and check out our curve and spiral settings. So notice that you can define the different types of curves that you might want to do, and then the default curve length. Go ahead and click OK for the defaults. For now, let's go ahead and just choose Draw Tangents, and then we'll add the curve in later. I want my proposed profile to start at an existing ground elevation at a specific station value. This is a transparent command called surface station elevation. I'll type in apostrophe SSE to get there. We'll pick the profile view you want to start this in. Then we need to pick a surface, which is why this other viewport is open. We'll click it once in here and then pick the surface. Notice how the jig comes up, allowing us to define the station to start this profile at. We'll type in 300 and then press enter. Now, although you don't know it, it actually has started the profile at that existing elevation in the profile view. Let's click back in here once, press escape once to get out of the transparent command. As you can see, it's showing up as a rubber band within the profile view. Now what we want to do, we want to define the next PVI with a profile grade and station. We'll go ahead and type in apostrophe PGS for profile grade station transparent command and press enter. The grade we want is negative 0.02 and then press enter. Notice how it shows you the grade that we just typed in. Now the stationing that we want is 1778.95, press enter. And there's our PVI. Press escape once to end the transparent command and now we're continuing along. The last value you want to enter for this PVI is using a profile station elevation. So type in apostrophe PSE, press enter. And now we're defining the station. So this station is 2357.14, press enter. And the elevation is 114.92, press enter. And there's our completed vertical alignment. Press escape once to end the command. Press escape again to complete the proposed design profile. You can see the labels come up automatically. And we need to now define our vertical curve. So let's go ahead and do that. Select the profile and then navigate to the curve dropdown and choose free vertical curve parabola. The command line window says select first entity, we'll pick the first tangent and then we'll pick the next tangent. And for our vertical curve, we want 500 feet. Press enter, there's your vertical curve, press enter again. And as you can see, all the labeling and everything else is updating automatically. Let's go ahead and maximize this viewport by double clicking the viewport control defined right here. Now, if we look at the bottom of our profile view, you'll notice that the band, which should be displaying the existing and proposed elevations for our existing profile and our proposed profile has not updated. So we need to update this. Let's go ahead and select the profile view and navigate to the profile view properties in the modify view panel. Navigate to the bands tab and all we need to do is scroll to the right side here and we want to change profile two to underscore bypass one. Click OK. And voila, our profile is updating with the elevations. And of course, we'll read that profile automatically if it ever changes.